Welcome back guys, this is Ashwin. In this video, we are going to solve the problem, separate the numbers. A numeric string, yes, is beautiful if it can be split into sequence of two or more positive integers satisfying the following conditions. a of i minus a of i minus 1 equals 1. So that the difference between two numbers will be 1. For any i in the range of 1 to n, each element in the sequence is 1 more than the previous element okay no a of i containing a leading zero for example we can split s yes, equals 10203 into a sequence of 1 2 3 but it is not a beautiful because 0 2 and 0 3 have leading zeros okay this is not satisfiable so we need to ignore this the contents of the sequence cannot be rearranged for example we can split 312 into a sequence of 312 but it is not beautiful because it breaks our first constraint 1 minus 3 not equals 1. The diagram below depicts some beautiful strings 1 2 3 4 can be split into 1 2 3 4 and here 9 10 11 and here 99 and 100. You must perform few queries where each query consists of some integer string s. Yes. For each query, print whether or not the string is beautiful on a new line. If it's beautiful, print s yes and x, where x is the first number of the increasing sequence. So x can be 1, 9 and 99. If there are multiple such values of x, choose the smallest, otherwise print no. Ok, that's our whole problem. Let's see the constraints. Here the queries can go up to 10 and the string length can go up to 32. So we can also do some brute force operations. Let's see the sample input. So we have 7 queries and these are the integer strings. Here 1, 2, 3, 4 can be separated that can be displayed as yes and the starting number is 1 and 9, 10, 11 yes and 9 is the starting number 9900 yes. 99 is the starting number here 10 11 0 3 is not satisfiable so we return no here they have leading zeros and this is also not satisfiable and if the string has only one element means we need to return no because there is no adjacent strings so that's our uh, corner test case so we will deal that later and these are the other strings here you can see 999, 1000, 1001 and the corresponding output is printed here. I think uh, we understood the whole logic. Well, we can approach the problem like this. We can uh, get the integers and find the difference between them. If it's one for all the strings, we can print yes. But still it will be somewhat difficult to find the difference between the strings because it is not an integer, it is in the form of characters. So what we can do is, we will generate the string itself. We will start by one character and increment it until it reaches the length of the string and compare with the original string. If it satisfies the condition, we will return yes. Or else we go for two characters. Like that we will increment the character by one each time. So until we go for half of the string. Because maybe in this condition, 99 and 100. So we can go until half of the string, that will be enough. Because if we increment it by 1, it should satisfy the remaining letters. Ok, let's solve the problem now. First we will deal with the corner test case, that is if the length of the string is 1, we will print no. If length of string equals 1, we will print no and return the function and in the else part we will generate the integer strings generate integer strings by increment of 1 so we will traverse up to half of the length of the string for i in range of 1 because at least we need to have difference of 1 up to length of s yes, divided by 2 plus 1. 
So it will traverse up to half of the length of the string. We will create a new variable for generated string. So that will be gen string equals s of colon i. It will store the first character of the string. And we will create a, another variable previous equals integer of gen string. So we can increment it by one easily by using this. Now we need to create a while loop while length of gen string less than length of yes. So it will do the operation do operation it reaches the length it reaches the length now we need to get the next number that will be next equals previous plus 1 so it will get the next number after that we need to store it in the gen string that will be gen string equals gen string plus string of next so it will add the next number to the generated string. After that, we will change the previous integer to the next one. And the operation goes on until it reaches the length of the string. When it reaches the length of the string, check it is equal. If generated string equals yes, we will print yes because it satisfies our condition with the starting string that will be s of colon 1 so that will be our starting number so it will do the whole operation from 1 to half of the length of the string so if the condition satisfies we will return after generating all the possible combinations, still it didn't match the original string means we need to print no. Print no. Okay, that's it for our whole logic. Instead of finding the difference between the string, we are generating our own string. And we also don't know how many characters combined together to form a single integer. That's why we are uh, doing iteration for every possible combination from 1 to half the length of the string and finally if it satisfies the condition we will print yes or else we will print no let's run it it passed the sample test case let's submit it that's it guys we solved the problem if this video is helpful to you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for future videos. See you guys in the next video.